The Archangel Michael is one of the most powerful and revered angels in the Bible, known as the great protector and warrior who stands against the forces of darkness. His name means, Who is like God? which reflects his unshakable loyalty to Yahweh and his role as a defender of God's people. Michael is not only a messenger but a leader of Yahweh's heavenly armies, waging war against evil and defending righteousness. Michael first appears in the book of Daniel, where he is described as the great prince who stands up for the people of Israel. During a series of visions given to Daniel, an angel, possibly Gabriel, explains that Michael has been fighting in the heavenly realms to protect Israel from their spiritual enemies. In these battles, Michael is seen as a guardian, standing against forces that seek to destroy Yahweh's people. His intervention ensures that the nation of Israel is preserved despite the powers of darkness waging war against it. The most dramatic account of Michael's role comes in the book of Revelation, where he leads the armies of heaven in the final battle against the dragon, Satan. In this cosmic conflict, Satan, who had been deceiving the nations, gathers his fallen angels for one last attempt to overthrow Yahweh's rule. But Michael and his angels rise to meet the challenge. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. Revelation 12, 7 to 8. In this epic confrontation, Michael's strength and righteousness shine through as he defeats the dragon, casting Satan and his forces out of heaven. The imagery is vivid. Michael, leading a host of angelic warriors, strikes down Satan's rebellion and throws him down to earth. This victory signals the ultimate defeat of Satan's power in heaven, though his influence on earth continues until the final judgment. Michael's victory in heaven is a turning point in the cosmic battle between good and evil. With Satan cast down, the accuser can no longer stand before Yahweh's throne to condemn the faithful. This moment marks the beginning of the end for the forces of evil, as the reign of Yahweh draws closer. In addition to his role as a warrior, Michael is also seen as an advocate for Yahweh's people. In the book of Jude, Michael is described in a mysterious episode where he contends with Satan over the body of Moses. While the details of this encounter are not fully explained, it shows that Michael is deeply involved in the defense of Yahweh's people, even after death. Michael rebukes Satan, not with his own power, but by invoking the name of Yahweh, saying, The Lord rebuke you. This highlights Michael's humility and his complete reliance on Yahweh's authority, even when facing the most powerful of adversaries. Michael's loyalty to Yahweh and his fierce protection of Yahweh's people make him a central figure in the battle between good and evil. As a protector of Israel, a commander of Yahweh's heavenly armies, and a defender against the accusations of Satan, Michael's role is both powerful and pivotal. Throughout the Bible, Michael's appearances remind us that the battle between good and evil is not just fought on earth, but in the spiritual realms as well. He is a symbol of Yahweh's power, justice, and the ultimate victory that awaits those who are faithful. Michael's unwavering strength and loyalty to Yahweh assure believers that even in the darkest of times, Yahweh's angels are fighting on their behalf, and victory is certain. As the champion of heaven and protector of God's people, Archangel Michael stands as a reminder that Yahweh is always in control, and the forces of darkness will never prevail against his divine plan. If you enjoyed this story, please subscribe, share, like, and comment. Thank you and see you soon.